Alright, I think... I don't even know. I just have a problem, I think. Anyone who looks in my car, like... There's so much caffeine. This isn't even the worst of it. Hey guys, what is up? So, today is Tuesday and we are eight weeks out. And I thought I would do a little full day of eating slash a day in the life of. So, um... I don't feel like bringing my camera to like class and with clients and stuff, but you'll get the gist. So I went to the gym at around six, did some posing and cardio, and then on my way there, just to sort of wake up, I listened to some Bikini and the Brain podcast, and then did some posing, and then once I was a little more alert, I studied for a nutrition exam. While I was doing cardio, I just re-listened to some lectures. And then on the way back from the gym, I just listened to some stuff on Kobe Bryant to sort of set the tone for the rest of my day. So now I just got back, going and waist training, and then I have class at 9.30, then teaching and group fitness class at 11 to 12, and then I have class 12.30 to 2, and then I have a little break and get some work done, um, <clears throat> and then I have... A interview for a nutrition volunteer opportunity then I have a client at five and then I have the gym so um as I'll show you so for my first meal um <clears throat> so for my first meal I just have some two ounces of chicken breast and some green beans so I've been on a green bean pick lately so I'm just going to have that at around noon and then <clears throat> and then have my meal one at about 2.30ish. And then I'm going to have my pre and post workout meal after my clients. And then, um, yeah, so um, I guess. That's all. So right now I'm just going to, it's like 8 and I don't have class until 9.30 so I'm just going to get some work done. And I'm probably just going to ice my legs. Not because there's anything um, that's wrong in particular, but just sort of to prioritize recovery, take precautions, and just make sure that my body is working optimally um, or as optimal as it can now that we're getting low carbs. So... I will catch you guys in the next clip. Alright, what is up you guys? So it is about 2.15 right now and I just got back from class. So we're still waist training and I'm about to make my first meal of the day. Um, or I guess second? I don't know if you would count like the two ounces of chicken. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to make my first meal of the day. My spinach, egg white, and oat pancake and get some more work done and then go back out so yeah i'm so excited all right here is my first meal of the day with some almond butter and sugar-free syrup and this is definitely my favorite meal of the day all right so for my next meal i'm just going to have some chicken um some lettuce tomatoes and some of this parm peppercorn marinade. This is like one of my favorites. Oh my god, you guys. So I just made some like pumpkin pie protein cream of rice. I haven't even tasted it yet, but it looks so good. So I did some cream of rice, egg whites, some protein powder. Um, I used a vintage brown vanilla and then I just used 10 grams of pumpkin. It definitely would be better with more pumpkin, but 10 grams is one carb and I wanted to still have some cream of rice. So I just did that with some salt, um, some cinnamon, pink Himalayan salt, and 14 grams of almond butter. And just look at that. Oh my god, this looks so good. Mm. 
wow. Wow, that's so good. Oh my God, this definitely needs more pumpkin, but this is so good. Wow, I'm gonna get some almond butter. Okay, I'm gonna go enjoy this. All right, so I just got back from the gym and I'm gonna have my post-workout and I actually am combining it with another meal. Um, so I'm so excited. So I'm gonna make um, some protein pancakes, which is egg whites and protein. And then I'm gonna make some protein ice cream with cereal. And I'm gonna have one of these um, confetti cake pop almond butter packets on the pancake. So I'm so excited. Secret sauce is mayo, Japanese mayo, and sriracha. Dang, you guys, I just did my check ins. It's Wednesday now, and I just want to share this because my glute is looking fucking wild from the front. So, yeah, Coach K's tempo work. If you ever get tempo work for your glutes, just fucking do it because look at this shit.